It's been a great year, I must say. Um, at the time, it was nice to go to Abbey Road and record and then be successful and actually win the Monarch. So it's been, uh, it's been a great experience, I will say. But in regards to the year, obviously we've had um, the pandemic, which has sort of slowed down Calypso for quite some time now. But the feeling's still there. I'm still quite happy that I was successful in the year. The referendum that I'm voting for, it is the one that's for Calypso. The songs that I will be singing tonight um, will include some of my past repertoire, which is uh, one of my songs is called Referendum, which is describing the role of a Calypsonian as a politician. I'll be singing another song which is called The Empire, which describes the influence of the West still today around the world and in Africa. And I'll also be singing one of, um, one of the legendary Calypso songs called Jean and Dinah, which was sung by the Mighty Sparrow. And I'll be ending with one of my favourite songs, which is a song called The Spoils of War, based on the kidnapping of those young women a few years ago in Nigeria. I think it's really important to have people today in Holland Park and it's great that we can witness so many people actually come out to listen to Calypso, listen to a live band. A lot of people have been stuck in their house due to the pandemic and the whole situation with Corona. So it's really important that people can come out and start to get the carnival spirit again and start to appreciate the build up to carnival and what it involves, meet some of the artists and just really mingle and participate in the whole experience. I wrote Miss Corona early, early um, at the beginning of lockdown, probably in January of the same year, just before it had actually really influenced and became really big. And at the time that I wrote the song, I wrote it with a real comical element, you know, thinking it was quite funny and quite hilarious at the time, to be honest. Um, little was I to know that the situation was going to get quite serious and um, have an impact on lots of people, including members of my own family. So. Clean the BBC Every year they send a letter um, Looking forward to Carnival being on the road next year um, Well, I mean, first things first, is Carnival going to be on the road next year? That's probably the first thing I would actually ask, I'm a realist But um, I think having Carnival on the road and having people coming out enjoying themselves, mixing with each other that experience, you cannot really duplicate it in a park We have park events, we have um, limes and other social events. Being at Carnival is just like a worldwide experience where you don't know who you're going to bump into, you're going to meet people from all different backgrounds and different cultures, sweet calypso music playing, sweet soca music playing, the smells of good food as well in the background, so masks and camp and people doing floats, children. It's just an experience that you know, you'd have to write a book to describe how it feels when you're there, but I'm looking forward to, to it getting back on the road and, as I said, mingling with people again and just seeing this whole drive of um, Carnival and Mars. The referendum that I'm voting for, it is the one that's for Calypso.